Welcome to the first part of a video series where I will go through the Fractrate AI bot possibilities we have at our disposal. In this part I will show you how you can quickly install and run the Fractrate bot and its AI capacities and I will show you also how you can run and backtest your first AI enabled strategy. In later videos I will dive deeper into the other options and possibilities and I will explain some AI and machine learning theoretics as well so that you have a better background to create your own AI enabled trading strategies. So this video is purely a setup video to get you up and running, nothing more and nothing less. So let's get started. Now according to the website of the Fractrade developers, the bot should have at least the following hardware requirements. But I think you can understand that this is the absolute bare minimum to run the bot. For AI and machine learning, there should be much more memory, disk space and processing power. This also depends on what your budget is or what you can afford to buy and build the necessary capacity. But I reckon that 8 or 16 gigs of RAM, 500 gigs of disk space and a quad core CPU should work much more pleasantly for an AI bot. For the software requirements, the following list is on their website. You should have at least Python 3.8. PIP, Git, TALIP and Python Virtual Env installed. However, with the installation script of Fractrate, TALIP would be installed automatically and in the Docker image it's also pre-installed. But the other software is really necessary to get things up and running. So, now that we know all this, let's install the AI bot first with the installation script and in this case you do not have to run Docker on your machine. I will install Fractrate on a Linux machine since my experience is that this is the best platform to run this bot on. First we have to update the list of software for this distribution, in my case Ubuntu, and then install the minimum required software to run the Fractrate installation script. So here I'm going to update the apt repository and install some additional Python modules that are required. After this is finished, I will move to the opt directory, since that is my preferred directory to install additional software on my server or PC. And then I'm going to clone the Fractrate repository to this directory with the git clone command you see over here. After the download of the Fractrate repository, I will go inside this directory and check out the stable branch of this repo, so that I will use the most current version that is not in development. Then I will start the actual installation script for all the required software packages for the bot with the setup script and use the install flag "-i", for this command. Now we have to wait until the software is downloaded and installed on the machine. And there will be a moment where the installation script will ask you about what to install. Say yes and press enter if you want these features to be installed. The default selection is no with these questions. Here I do not want to install the additional dependencies for software development, but only want to get the dependencies for plotting, hyperopt and of course the frac AI functionality. And I also will say yes to the question to install PyTorch modules here. Then the script will install all the necessary software, modules and dependencies. And this can take a while depending on your internet connection and computer speed. Now if you have installed Fractrate at an earlier moment but did not select to install the AI Python modules, then you can always install them afterwards by using the pip install command and using the requirement frac AI text file that contains all the necessary modules to install. And you can see this on the terminal right now, 
but you can also see that there is nothing installed additionally since I just finished the installation procedure. Now it's time to check if the installation has been done correctly. So after all installations are done, I can check if it is installed correctly by using the one liner you see on the screen here. The first part activates the Python virtual environment and the second part executes the Fractrate bots help command. And if this help text appears, then the bots software is installed correctly and we can download the necessary AI config and the strategy example files. But before I do that, I will first show you how you can use Docker Compose to pull the Fractrate AI image to your system and use it with Docker. The instructions are very well written on these pages and I will show you how it's done next. Now I assume that you already downloaded and installed Docker and Docker Compose in your system and everything is working fine. Otherwise install it on your system as I demonstrate here. I have to do this here because I am using a virtual image and it does not have Docker or Docker Compose installed yet. Now after I have installed this I had to reboot the VM to make it work correctly. Before I download the correct Docker Compose image, let me first create another directory where I can download this file to. And I'm making the FT user data file in the opt directory here. And I believe it's the same name that the developers also recommend on their website. Okay, now that this is done, download the Docker Compose file of the Frack AI uh, from the GitHub repository of Fractrade. And here you can find the Docker directory that contains the Fractrate Docker Compose files. Now download the Docker Compose Frack AI YAML file and put it in the FT user data directory or download it directly to the directory with the wget command like I do here. You can also rename the file to just Docker Compose IML like I do here because this is the standard file name Docker uses if you just use Docker Compose command. It makes it a little bit more easy for me. And I have to use sudo of course here. Um, now you can pull the docker image from the docker hub with the docker compose pull command. This automatically searches for the docker compose file name in the current directory and reads it to get the correct image. And again depending on your machine and connection speed this might take a while. Now, if everything is downloaded, you can make a new user there that will contain all your data, strategies and more. This way, the data stays persistent on your computer while you can update or use other Fractrate Docker images without losing anything. This is also a test to see if everything is working fine. Now the next thing to do is to download the Fractrate AI config example and the test strategy that is AI enabled. For this I will use the script installed environment and will not use the docker environment. Uh, the download procedure is exactly the same and the locations to download the files to are also the same. With the exception of course that you have to point it to the correct initial installation directory. The first thing you have to do is download the config file to your system. This file should be downloaded to the main Fractrate installation directory and the file that you will have to download is located in the Fractrate repository under config underscore examples. I will use the wget command again here to download this file to my computer directly. And the next file you have to download is the AI enabled strategy file. This file should be downloaded to your strategies directory. So I will move there first. And the file you will have to download is located in Fractrate templates. And again, I will download it with wget.
Let's check if the file is downloaded first. And after this step is successfully done, I will go back to the main factory directory to do the next step. And that is to execute a dry run to see if everything is working correctly. Now for the complete command, you can go to the Fractrate website. And this command is written out over there and it's just a simple matter of copying and pasting it to the terminal. To start this dry run, use the Fractrate trade command, use the downloaded Frac AI config and the strategy, and finally the Frac AI model. If you see the same response I get on my screen here, then you have a working AI bot. However, with the test config and test strategy, so do not think of live trading with these ones. Now during this run you can see the config uses two pairs, one inch and algo. It uses the light GBM regressor and it's downloading pairs history data over here. And here the line says that it's training the model. And you can also see that the training set has 569 features, which I'll explain what is this in a later video. Okay, I've seen enough training. Uh, I've not seen any trades, which is logical of course. I've just run the bot for five minutes or so. Let's stop it and continue with the next step which is backtesting. Now, to see if the backtesting functionality is working correctly, I will have to download the necessary backtesting data first. Because if I do not do that, I will get an error message that there is no backtesting data. Let's demonstrate this by copying and pasting the backtesting command from the website and see what happens. And you see, no data found. So to get the backtesting data first, I will use the fractrate download data command together with the correct config, time ranges and time frames, which should fit the necessary data requirements of the strategy. And by using this command, I will download all the necessary data for the backtest. And note that I will also download a little bit more data than used in the backtest since this extra data is used for training the model. And again, the duration of downloading depends on the machine and the internet connection speed. So if downloading all data has succeeded, then it's time to do the actual backtest again. Here I will use the command that is provided on the Fractrate site. It makes use of the downloaded config file, the AI strategy, and note here that the backtest time range starts later than the earlier downloaded date range. So let's start this and see what happens. And you can see that it is training the model. And you can also see the same amount of features as in the dry run. Here the subvector machine has discovered some outliers. And after all training has been done, the backtest will start. Okay, the results are in. Let me make the font a little bit smaller here so you can see what the results are. And you can see here that backtesting these pairs resulted in a small profit of around 12% over a two month period. And with these results, I can conclude that the software is correctly installed and it's working for backtesting and trading. Now I can add just one more final thing and that is adding the API server so that you can also see the pod's performance over its web interface. For that, we have to use a small snippet from another example config. 
And this config is the full example config, which is located in the config examples folder of the repository. Locate the API server section in that config, and then copy this API section from the config you see over here. And open the config frag ii file, and go to the end of that file, and paste that section just above the bot name like you see here. Don't forget to also enable the API server by setting this switch to true, and then save the file. And now I can start the bot in trade mode again. If you watch the output closely, you can see here that the server is running and located on the local host. And I can now go to the browser again and go to the local host, that's 127.0.0.1 on port 8080. If you have opened this URL for the first time, then you will have to log in to the bot. Log in with the configured username and password from the config file, and you can find these settings in the API server section. Now give the bot a name and copy and paste these values in the login dialog screen and click OK. And if everything goes well, you are now logged in to the bot's web interface. And you can see here that I have Algo and 1inch as my pairs to trade. And there's not much more information, the bot is just running. And there's no trades. Now you can play a little bit in the web interface and make yourself more familiar with the possibilities. I will click here on the logs menu item, which shows you the logs of the bot. And there you can see that the bot is training on data, sorting and disposing of unnecessary data, and much more AI activities the bot does in the background. However, I am not waiting for that because we are at the end of this video. And I hope that you have found this short installation video useful, and I will upload other informational videos about the Frag Trade AI bot in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, click on the like button, subscribe and give a comment if you have one, and uh, till the next time, goodbye!